In this screencast, uh, we uh, will use induction to solve a uh, famous problem. Um, we will prove um, the closed form of the sum of the first n integers. And that closed form is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. This summation is also uh, very frequently used in uh, uh, theory of computation, not just in mathematics, but in theory of computation and in algorithms uh, to prove uh, various quadratic uh, algorithms, the asymptotic times of various um, uh, quadratic uh, algorithms, theta of n squared or big O of n squared. So um, S1 uh, is true. Our base statement is true. Okay, what, what, what are the SN uh, statements in this case? Well, SN, right, uh, is uh, simply, just means that the sum of the first N integers from 1 to N is equal to N times N plus 1 over 2, right? So, and um, in, in, in our case, we start this inductive proof with 1. So the base case is S1. Now, why is S1 true? Well, we can prove this directly by plugging 1 in. So we're summing the integers from 1 to 1. Right? And uh, what is it? Well, by the formula, it's 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2. And that is certainly equal to 1. And the sum of 1 is 1. OK, so we have taken care of the base case. Now, let's um, make our inductive hypothesis. We will assume that s of n is true for n greater than or equal to 1. So let's assume that s of n is true. is true. So this is our inductive hypothesis, or simply hypothesis. Hypothesis. And so now the trick is to use that assumption to show that s of n plus 1 true. So use s, well, in, uh, so we assume that s of n is true. And then we will use it to derive s of n plus 1. So if s of n, then s of n plus 1. Right? And the trick is many, in, in many of these problems is to use s of n somehow in the derivation of s n plus 1 and to rewrite s of n plus 1 in terms of s of n. So, and what is s of n plus 1? It's n plus 1 times n plus 2 over 2. Well, there's not, no magic here. We just plugged n plus 1 over here instead of n. So we got n plus 1 uh, times n plus 2 over 2. So this is what we need to show. So we need to um, take our inductive hypothesis, that assumption, and uh, show that s of n on the basis of that inductive hypothesis is also s of n plus 1, rather, on the basis of the inductive hypothesis, which is s of n is true. So what is s of n plus 1? s of n plus 1 is the sum of the first n integers plus the sum of the integer n plus 1. Right? OK. Now, uh, let's use our inductive hypothesis and rewrite this. So s of n plus 1 is equal to, by the inductive hypothesis, s of n can be rewritten as n times n plus 1 over 2. Right, so let's okay, make that qualification here that, S, uh, that n is greater than or equal to 1. So let's rewrite S of n. n times n plus 1. This is our inductive hypothesis assumption over 2 plus uh, n plus 1. So we're very close. Uh, now let's do some algebra. Um, 
So we have n times n plus 1 over 2. Uh, okay, well, n plus 2 and n plus 1 uh, over 2. Okay, the common denominator is 2. And factoring n plus 1 out, we get n plus 1 uh, times n plus 2. And um, this is exactly what we tried to show, what we, what we needed to show. Right. So we, on the basis of uh, S of n, we showed that S of n plus 1 holds. So hence the formula is proved. Now let's um, grab some white space and uh, clear this out and ask ourselves an interesting question. Okay, let's... Okay, all right. Did we have to use induction? And it turns out that the answer is no. And this is the proof that was used either by uh, Gauss or Euler, uh, could have been someone else, well, do your uh, web research and uh, uh, find out. Um, but uh, whoever that mathematical prodigy was, um, if uh, I remember correctly, he proved it when he was younger than 10. So um, S of n is equal to um, the sum of the first uh, and integers, and it can be written as uh, 1 uh, plus uh, 2 plus um, uh, 3 uh, plus, um, you know, plus uh, uh, n, and um, uh, s of n can also be written as, okay, summing from n down to 1, right, sigma one and uh, I so let's write it as n plus n minus one uh, plus n minus two um, plus all the way down to plus okay plus all the way down to one okay so let's sum up um, these two, uh, these two lines. Okay, so we have on the left two s of n, and on the right, um, okay, we're going to sum up um, n plus one is equal to n plus one, and two plus n minus one is equal to n plus one, and um, three plus n minus two is equal to n plus one. And every member of this sum is going to be equal to n plus 1. Right? You may want to uh, grab a sheet of paper and convince yourself of uh, this fact, but it will be true, so n plus 1. And so how many uh, members of this summation do we have? We have n. So um, 2 times s of n is equal to n times n plus 1. So hence, s of n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. So we get our formula.